In this video, I'll be showing how to do a portrait manipulation, turning this image to this image. So first thing is we're going to crop our subject out of the background. So we're going to click on select subject. Right click and select inverse. And then we're going to unlock this and delete our background. And then we can now expand our background so we're going to click on this crop tool here and we're just going to drag our background and make sure we're on crop size 4 ratio 5 and then make sure our image is at the center of the frame and then we're going to click ok as you can see on this image uh, part of our arm is cut out so i'm going to generate an arm using um adobe generative fill so i'm going to click here like so and i'll generate an arm i wouldn't want to type anything i'll just i'll just type in a dot and click generate and as you can see it has generated an arm i was just going to look for the one that suits better uh, this kind of suits better Oh, let's just use this and we'll modify it so we're gonna shift it down until it fits in and then we'll click ok and then we'll merge these layers together and then i like to uh, you know make sure the arms fit properly so I'll click on um, my filter we'll go to liquify and just straighten the arm a bit so I'm just going to straighten the arm so it fits. Okay. And then I still want to take this out, the background. Using my quick selection tool, I'm just going to select and delete this remaining background. And then you can see there's a line here, but it doesn't matter for what we're going to do. So you want to make sure your image is there's enough space in the background or you might want to increase this just a little bit and click ok so like this next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an ellipse circle using the color white and we're just going to draw it it doesn't have to be perfect or the size we want so like so I'm going to take my ellipse tool behind the subject like this and maybe just bring it down a bit and resize it just like this. Now the next thing is we're going to create a background so we'll bring in a new layer and bring it back and we're going to use a paint bucket and select black and just tap on the background it's going to look like this next thing is select the subject go to image turn it to black or white and click ok so like so the next thing we're going to do is select our image we're going to hold down command if you're using a mac you hold down command or if you're using a windows you hold down control so i'm going to hold down command key and click on subject and this uh, uh, dotted lines are going to show around the subject so i'll just create another layer and then click on my pin button and just drop it on the subject and you should see something like this so next we're going to reduce the opacity of this so we can see the image just a little bit and now we're going to go to our pen tool we're going to zoom in so now we're going to draw a side face using our pen tool. So um, we're going to start from here and just try to draw a uh, try to draw a face, a side, a side face of her. Right? It doesn't have to be so perfect, but you can take your time to do this. So 
So it's just like this. Can take your time to do this. So now we're just gonna exit this. It's just going down to close it up. Now we'll right click on one of these boxes and select make selection. And we're gonna fill that with radius of three. Click OK. So all we'll do here is just click delete. And like so, we'll have a face. Now we're going to increase our opacity back to 100. And here you go, you have an image like this. Like I said, you can take your time to draw the side face so it can look perfect on your side. So after this, I basically just downloaded a Louis Vuitton, uh, you know, background, which I'm just going to click and drag to my Photoshop. Next thing, I, I want to copy this or drag to my to my document file, to my image. And then I'm going to increase this. I'm going to increase it so it covers everywhere. And click OK. Now I'm going to click on my Option button or your Alternate button. And um, we're going to click mask, click mask it to the subject, like the shadow subject. And it's going to look like this. Okay, now we're also going to duplicate this and now drag to our background and also create a clip mask. So now you want to make your image, uh, the background a bit darker. So I'm going to click, um, or just go to image, adjustment, your curves. And just bring it down. Same thing for the background, image, adjustment, and curves, and just bring it down a little bit more than the subject. And so that's it. You have your image. You can save this technique and try it for your own image. Do well to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.